Okay guys, I hope it's not too windy. We're at the Virginia City Cemetery. And this dates back to like, way back. Oh, here's someone who was, he died in 1888. John Clay Hampton, he was a native of Ohio. That's my home state. And then you have these where they're gated and there's obviously someone in there, but the gravestone is gone. And this is Elizabeth, wife of John Michael. She died in 1881, 30 years old. Oh, and her infant son died at the same time. So maybe it was a childbirth. That's sad. Boy, these are old gates. Got some idiots over there. Today's an event holiday, and you get the idiots coming up here, stupid teenagers. Look at this fence, how ornate. That's lovely. Headstones missing from this plot. Obviously someone's buried in there. Look how they gated it all off, this is cool. Ernest Warren died in 1880, 23 years old. Probably a lot of these people were miners. William Drysdale died in 1888, 50 years old. Let's see what we have here. These are all going to be 1800s because I doubt that they have new burials in here, but they could. Martin Echeverry died in 1932. Well, that's a fairly recent one. Look at the, how they have those fenced in. That's cool. I think I'm going to go through this. I'm going to have to somehow get back, climb this little, don't laugh if I fall, Matthew. There's my son coming to the rescue if I fall down. Oh, sure, you just pop right up there. <laughs> he... <laughs> You're like those elephants. They can just walk on top of the water. <laughs> Yeah. Aren't these gates awesome? Yeah, this this section of the cemetery is the Masons. Oh, is it? Yeah, this is all Masons in here. Oh, oh. Some of these plots, it's kind of sad because you know people are in here, but there's no headstones. Yeah. That's a lot of them lost sad. a lot. There's a lot of vandalism. Yeah, I know. Over the years. Well, 1880s, that's what, 200 years ago? I love these fences. These fences are cool, isn't that cool? Oh yeah. Eighteen seventy five in his forty seventh year. Abe. How would you pronounce that name? Edgington, I was trying to figure it out. Edgington? Edgington. <laughs> Yeah, get drunk and say that. <laughs> Probably how he got his name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is... Here's 1913. That's not that, that old. Most of this is 1800s, though. Some of the families that are from these people that still live here still have their cemetery or their funerals up here when their oh, they do. family members die. Yeah. They do have current ones. Okay. Don't kick it. There's some down over here. I guess it's all Masons and then uh, oh, the Irish have their own 
in the back here. Uh huh. And then down over the hill this way is the military and fireman. John Pearson, 1891. He, oh, 16 years old. That's so sad. He probably came up here to work in the mines. Yeah. This one down here is really ornate too. I love these fences around them, they're so cool. The cemetery is hard to walk around in because it's uphill and downhill and really steep downhills. <laughs> Yeah, this one here looks like a, that one looks like a recent one. It looks like you never has done. Let's see. Elizabeth Horn and Theodore Lamb Genevieve. There's three people in here. And the latest one is 1921. So that's not real new. Wait, honey. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody put flowers on these and you can barely see the headstones. It's nice that someone remembered them, huh, Connor? Well, I thought it was our da daddy's um, aunt. His, his, his grandma died. Your daddy's mom is me and I'm not dead yet. No. <laughs> Dad, you mean your gram his grandma? Oh, look at this fence. This is cool. Which one? This fence right here I think is awesome. In memory of L.H. Torp. Departed this life December 8th, 1878. 50 Eight. years old. 50. 50 years. So really, they died pretty young. Well, they said that um, the life expectancy of people who lived up here because it was a mining community and a lot of the miners... 40 years old was about the average lifespan for a lot of people because they didn't take care of their health and, you know, they just, they lived so rough and hard, they didn't take care of themselves and as a result, and here's a three, they didn't live very long. And here's a three person one, right? Over here. J. Pope, 1882 through 18 to 1933. That's 1972 to 2001. So that's a reasonably new one. And then there's another person over there. So some of these are fairly new. And some of them are families. And um, yeah, some people. me, my mom, and dad just saw a husband and wife over in the grave. One died right after and one died before. Yeah. I'm guessing this one was the husband and wife too, and their brains is getting destroyed because people don't care. I know the sad, isn't it? Let's see what this one. That's meeting grave. Oh, okay. don't tell me that. No, 33 years Wait, old. Wife of C.S. Ben died December 17th. Oh. 1877, age 33 years, Mary Ann, sister of C.S. Ben, died June 17th, 1877, age there 55 fence, years. There's fences falling down here. Where, where's the founder? Right up there on the hill to the top of it, just above that tree. Wow, that's huge. Let's go up there and see what that's... You. What? That, this little dirt road right here. It's not very long. Okay. <laughs> we got a stroller for you. That was. <laughs> they're trying to put me in a stroller. Uh, it's June 26, 1860, and they died in 1969. Wow, nine years old. That's sad. Okay, I guess they have a road up here that's going to take us on around, so we'll be back in just a second. Okay, this is. Uh, I guess we're in the Mason Cemetery, and this is Captain Edward Ferris Story, for whom Story County was named, 1828 to 1860. Down here. Yep. That's Sam A. McMeans, 
1876. He was 69 years old. Huh. That's pretty old for living here during those times. Here's some of the hills, guys. The sun's on my camera, so I can't see. I hope you guys can see this okay. This is the uh, silver mining fields of Virginia City. They found a little bit of gold up here, but the biggest majority of it was silver. And we just came from way up there. So let's see if we can join them down there. It's my son and his wife and little Emily. There's Mr. Connor picking up rocks. And there's Miss Kaylee waving at us. There's a lot of these that are just wood headstones. There's no words on them anymore because they're like 150 some years old. So it's so many people are lost. This whole place is full of burials, but a lot of them are like that headstone I just showed you right there. This is, we're in the Irish cemetery right now, and this is beloved wife, native of County Roscommon in Ireland, born in 1836 and died in 1894. This is one of those really pretty ornate fences. Eugene Monahan, native of County L O U T H Louth, Ireland, died 1877 at the age of 47 years. Anthony Adams, native native of Kildare County, Ireland, died 1877, aged 52 years. They're buried in this plot here together. And who's this one? This is Rosanna. Rosanna. Olivia Rosanna. Rosanna. Olivia Rosanna, wife of William J. Is that Ford? A native of Pennsylvania. Died in 1875 at 48 years old. I love these fences. These fences are awesome. Okay, here's a. Well, wow, this is quite a monument. And it was quite a walk up the hill. Holy cow. Yes, but this person must have been very special. Yeah, this, this, stuff. this is really nice here. It says, Mary E, the loved wife of, I don't know that name. Major, e. Major George E. Ferrand, native of Ohio from my stomping grounds, they died. died February 23rd, 1875, uh -huh. aged was 20... Oh, 28 years. 23 years. Oh, 23 years, 3 months, and 22 days. It's funny how they, they have it right down to the day exact. Oh, the person was... Boy, this was really nice. This one was 8 months old. Oh, let's come over here. There's another really pretty one. So I need to find something this elaborate. Watch out, Connor, so I don't fall on you. Oh, our little Marie, aged eight months. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, little tiny person. Little ducks. This is so cute. This is a nice grave site too. Let me get back here and show you the whole thing. There. Oh, it breaks my heart to see the little people. Yes, dear. 1892. 1888. 
This is a sad one too. This is a newborn, Willie Serrani. Marino Serrani was one year old. And then underneath this tree, you can barely see it, is a three year old. This family didn't have much luck with children, but then back then, if you got the measles, you were done. Something simple. We're leaving the cemetery now, and we're heading back. Then we're going to head to Dayton to see buried cars, and that's probably going to be fun. We're going to try yeah. to do it before night. Yeah, we've about wrapped up everything we can do here in the cemetery. My phone is dying, so we'll talk to you guys later. We will see you later. Yep, bye. everybody says bye.